starting tomorrow in Eugene, Oregon, at the place affectionately known as Tracktown USA. She's a lone Rainbow Wahine representative at the NC2A's track and field nationals. Standing only five feet five inches tall, she's hoping to stand tall when it's all said and done, ending her collegiate career as a national champion, something only two from UH have ever accomplished. The first to do so, Gwen Lau, in the long jump back in 1984. Lau won a gold medal with a leap of 19 feet, 11 and 3 quarter inches. Most recently, national champion was Amber Kaufman, also played volleyball at UH. Her gold medal came in the high jump in 2010, clearing 6 feet, 1 and a quarter inches. Also took bronze in 2009. Our Hawaii MVP this week is Rainbow Wahine Amanda Alvarez, senior from Vancouver, Washington. She did six among the 24 qualifiers at Nationals in the triple jump. I know she's going to represent the University of Hawaii very well. Uh, she's very proud to be here. She came with a walk-on, so for her to go from that in her first year to where she's at now is quite amazing. Amanda Alvarez, one of the top performers in the country. I'm just planning on going out big and jumping another huge PR, hopefully even more. And I just feel like the guy's going right now. I really have nothing holding me back. This time it's like two bigger arm action. Alvarez is the first ever from UH to qualify for nationals in the triple jump, earning her spot with a personal best hop, skip, and jump at the NCAA prelims in Austin, Texas two weeks ago, measuring 43 feet, 7 and 3 quarter inches. She had to deal with a lot of uh, issues that were happening, including finding out the day before that the, uh, the schedule of the meet had changed. There was the ever-changing weather conditions and the fact that she was able to uh, walk all that kind of stuff out, deal with the rain, deal with the thunder, uh, deal with the change of schedule, uh, uh, gives me great confidence that she's that much more mentally prepared. Getting there, that's the hardest part. Uh, I think regionals would probably be the most difficult because up until then you have different meets to place different marks. It doesn't matter where you place, it matters the mark that you're getting. But at regionals, if you don't get that mark right then, you're not going to nationals. And once you're at nationals, you don't really have much to prove, so to say. I kind of feel like I do, and I really want to. I want to go out there and show them I deserve to be there. From walk-on to being in position to challenge for a national title, that's a heck of a journey for a young lady that works her own 16-step program into the sand pit. And in competition, she says, quote, I always go for it, end quote. And she's always got butterflies. And it always helps. I always get really amped, and that's kind of the feelings I try and get during practice. I like, have a lot of self-talk, being like, come on, what do you want them to be you? They won't have an inch on you. You need to really get this jump together. And I do that at practice because I know I'm going to be feeling that in the competition. And so when I actually get those butterflies, my run-up is way faster, way better, on spot, and then my jump just comes. And my body knows what to do. If I think about every little detail, I'm not going to jump the best because I'm thinking too much about it. If I just let my body take over, it's, it's going to come. I have no doubt that she's got an even bigger one in her. Alvarez has already graduated, earning degrees in psychology and sociology. That, she says, was the hard work. This stuff, she claims, is the fun stuff. And national in Oregon, track down USA. She's hoping it's the most fun she'll ever have. It was exciting for her, and she doesn't know it yet. I mean, the stands are going to be packed. I mean, she never in her life has she uh, competed at a, a venue, like I said, Track City USA, where there's going to be so many people. My twin sister's going to be there, and she's, like, due. Well, she's pregnant. She's due in, like, three weeks. So it's going to be a big thing to have her there, my little brother, my parents. I'm really excited to have them there and just feel that support, even though it's, I always feel it there. It's nice to actually have their presence there. And, hear them, and, yeah, I'm going to start crying. Rainbow Wahine triple jumper Amanda Alvarez, our Hawaii MVP this week. If any of you have ideas that we should feature as a Hawaii MVP, hit us up at KITV.com.
Amanda Alvarez won gold in the triple jump of the Big West Championships, took bronze in the long jump at 19 feet 8 inches, and she placed seventh in the heptathlon. Again, triple jump at the NC2A Nationals starts tomorrow. Great.